all at 60 or a little bit higher. Here's future cast over the course of the next 24 hours. We're starting off. Been a meteorologist for WRL for 35 years. I think my interest in the weather was twofold. It, it was a combination of, of curiosity and, and also respect, I think, for nature. My thoughts on climate change were, uh, as much as I hate to admit it, very ideologically based for almost 30 years. And so I would just selectively go to people and sources of information to support what I already thought. It was a really nice echo chamber. I realized over time that I was not treating the issue as a scientist. So I had a, an aha moment one morning when I woke up with a question in my mind. Was I a hypocrite in the sense that I was only looking for information to support what I currently thought? As a scientist, it just became almost impossible for me to maintain my old way of thinking. To say that the whole thing was a joke or a hoax was not scientifically responsible. There's an awful lot of hard science to back this up. Now, seriously, has it been your perception, either one of you, that, that we've had a lot of these swings up and down this oh, morning, yeah. more so than normal, maybe? Right, so, yeah. And, and there are things that I've noticed, like the number of 90 degree days uh, that we average has gone up. It does seem like we're issuing more advisories for heat. We will, in a second, uh, take a look at those statistics as we have gathered them today. To the top of the world, Barrow, Alaska, more than three. I think the thing that's really caught my attention from a distance is how much the Arctic has warmed and that even the most primitive of computer models back in the 80s predicted that's where most of the warming would be. For answer. Exploring Climate Change, a WRAL documentary. That's a really interesting question. I hadn't even thought about that. And I feel like I've got a message to share with people that goes uh, above and beyond just the issue of climate. We've been given this planet on loan, and it's our responsibility to be a good steward and to take care of it. This isn't an anti-religion movement. This isn't a conspiracy to make us all socialists. This just comes down to basic caring about your environment, and what's so bad about that? If we invest in clean energy, in renewable energy, and we boost the economy by coming up with new technologies that create jobs, and it doesn't turn out to be as big a deal as we fear it will, then what have we lost? We're still in a much better place. We've left our kids in a much better place than, than we have now.